so on this chart you're looking over here on the left hand side let's look right here where the cursor is going um, and this is a marker of ventilation or respirations breaths per minute down here on the bottom it lists neurological phase which means uh, basically at the start of exercise when your breathing increases in excess of what the body needs the metabolic phase in which your breathing um, pretty much keeps up with the amount of oxygen that your body needs and then the compensor compensatory phase um, which your body really has to work to blow off those additional gases um, and produce those additional um, items that your body needs um, over here is if you look at the cursor again this is the threshold between aerobic and anaerobic activity or the anaerobic threshold um, and then if you look over here at these um, values right here um, you're looking at the oxygen pressure carbon dioxide pressure pH of the blood lactic acid levels the carbon dioxide and the oxygen volume all right um, and each of these are right now at resting rate and as we have our exercise or start to exercise you will see some changes um, so right now at rest the pH is at 7.4 and the lactic acid is pretty much non-existent um, there's more oxygen volume than there is carbon dioxide volume um, and if you see as the guy starts to exercise um, right here he's crossing into the aerobic threshold and you'll notice that the pH is still around 7.4 uh, but both the carbon dioxide and the oxygen values have increased. Uh, if the guy starts exercising more intensely, heavier, you can look over here on the right. Um, you can see those values continue to increase. Kind of proportionally, um, the carbon dioxide is starting to catch up with the oxygen. And then, boom, right here when we hit the anaerobic threshold, they are equal. As soon as we cross over that threshold, the carbon dioxide inches above the oxygen, the lactic acid levels start to increase, and the pH starts to decrease, putting that body in, the, in an acidic state.